that's in, in a night. Um, on the other hand, if you are a high level player, wants to just get into the main bracket, you can play like five to eight sets, bang them out real quick whenever you want, and then get started. Nice, speaking of getting started, what a seamless transition. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, so we start on Yoshi's story. Uh, West Ball's definitely known for loving this stage. Yep. Yeah, we haven't been seeing that much of West Balls recently. He's been like semi inactive in the uh, recent netplay era, but he's definitely been grinding. Like he's still streaming quite a lot and doing pretty well. So excited to see how he does here. And then he's one. West Balls is one of those people who, when the uh, thousand hertz polling for the controllers came out, he like didn't believe it, and he didn't try it for like months. And then I think it was like last week he tried it and was like, "Oh my god, this is beautiful." <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. More and more upgrades make that play feel better and better, so super sick to see. Oh, oh Jake keeps Holy getting off stage, yep. West super Balls efficient was... stock. Yeah, West Balls was in total control for the first, like, 40 seconds of the game, and then J-Cubes took control for, like, 5 seconds, and now it's even. Right, right. Now, I'm not sure where J-Cubes is from. Um, I... maybe Texas, I want to say? I'm not really sure, but regardless, uh... I know a quick Google search showed me that he was in top 8 of, of uh, tournaments right before the Netplay era, so... He's been around for a while. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And yeah, oh. ooh, <laughs> catches the up air. And then, yeah, the one of the things about this matchup is just how clean Falco's, well, both characters, edge guards are on each other. Uh -huh, uh, if you're off yeah. stage, you're sort of dead for sure. Yeah, this is definitely a punish game. Oh my god, the <laughs> Moonwalk Stomp is his tech chase choice. Uh, <laughs> why not? <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that this is such a punish game based matchup, so both players can just kill each other. Oh my god, or they can just. Do wall jumps and scar jumps around Yoshi's story, and West Balls comes out on top in that exchange. <laughs> a Ooh, lot of gets... oh, extra aerials there. <laughs> he gets the soft reverse bear to push him back further off stage, and then goes for the suicide dare. I wonder if there is a way to close that out without giving up the stock, but West Balls. There probably care. was, but yeah, West Balls definitely doesn't care. He definitely was, in fact, looking for the one that cost his <laughs> stock. <too. laughs> and potentially uh, last big punish of the game here. Oh. He, he was a little bit slow on that uh, shield drop. He did an extra wave dash, and that gave J-Cubes time to find the ledge. Yep. Oh my god, and he almost gets need there. That could have been a gimp, but... West Ball's still kind of maintaining control over here. Forge smashes the wrong way, why not? J-Cubes just held in for that entire recovery. West Ball's expecting him to drift back to the ledge or something. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, fakes oh, the wall jump up. there, and then up B's. Yep. Catches the tech and gets the up B to hug him again. Jake oh, finding he finds stage? the down air off stage. Okay. <laughs> Whew. So West Balls uh, kind of made that a little bit closer than maybe he was intending to. Um, or Jake... exactly as close as he intended to. <laughs> <laughs> I know that West Balls was the one. There was a famous tournament a long time ago where he took like seven stocks in one game, right? Like he, <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> suicide kills of all four stocks and then ends the game with a one stock. You know, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> everything for the fans. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, so West Balls is able to close out that game one. J Cube showed us um, some real explosiveness when he was able to wrestle control out of West Balls hand hands. But for the most part, West Balls was maintaining control throughout the game and kind of in charge of the pacing and, and what was happening on, on the stage. Yep, West Balls' pace is definitely one that's tough to get used to. He's also really good at changing the pace of the matchup. He tends to start the pace really fast and is like super down to really slow it down if he can't find a way in. So sometimes it's like, can you get past the level one, which is West Balls just going absolutely ham and running you down. And if you can, then you have to figure out a way to catch him because it's going to do the opposite. <laughs> so. <laughs> Find some corner pressure here, some backwards facing stuff. Falcon really struggles to get past Falco when he's back is facing him yeah that was just firm corner pressure the entire stock he just couldn't get out of the corner and eventually lose his stock so and and this time west ball is able to find the strong reverse bear that just outright kills falcon and doesn't require a follow-up dare yeah <laughs> but he goes for some <laughs> weird uh wall jump refresh on the edge uh on the ledge and yeah paying for it yeah, I, th I think he was just messing around too. I think he was just like wanting to do some fancy like wall jump side B thing and then he just dies for it, which is pretty funny. So this is West Balls in round one classic. Um, doesn't matter who he's fighting. they will always start to play like this and then kind of see how it goes from there. So. <laughs> Going for the utmost here with some wall jump back airs. Ooh, finagles his way with an air, gets a tech chase. Uh, really fast ledge grab into the instant slow getup. I don't know if that was intentional or not. It might have been an attempt to like get the perfect timing, but ooh, all right, gets the stock anyways. 
kills the shy guy. That's yeah, you hate. Him. You hate yeah. just be the shy guy. He might protect you from a laser or something. Wouldn't want that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. So back to two stocks apiece. Uh, Westballs seems to be using his vertical game to slow the pace a little bit and make sure that J Cubes isn't getting uh, too good a read on his movement. But. Yeah, that was Westballs just kind of trying to fight from the corner. It looks like when Westballs has Falcon cornered, he has like really good corner pressure. And uh, he he didn't like want to reset when he was in the corner. He was just like, yeah, let's just keep fighting. Oh, uh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> and the forward tilt and the CC shine. And that shine. Yeah. And once again, as soon as Westballs is able to push J Cubes into the corner, it just feels like lights out for J Cubes. Mm -hmm. Kind of makes me wonder. Oh, oh my God. There's a West Ball okay. punish. Let's see if he gets a jump read. Not quite. Finds the up tilt before stage. he can land, though. Oh, soft pushes him off with the fair. soft near the forward air. Into the back air. Top platform tech chase. Laser reset. Oh, my God. <laughs> soft reverse bear <laughs> down air to end it. In style. All right. Good stuff, West Ball. <laughs> that was pretty clean by West Balls to close that out. A little curious why... Uh, why West Balls, or sorry, why J Cubes went back to Yoshi's? It felt like the corner was such an issue for him, and to putting it on his, uh, to put him back in a stage where he's going to be always in the corner is, is pretty rough. Yeah, kind of agree. We have been seeing this be the counter pick in uh, the recent like Gatsu and S2J sets versus mm -hmm. the likes of like Jinchur and Fiction's Falco. That has seems to be where the meta is heading. For some reason, the Falcons don't want to have to chase Falco down or deal with lasers or something. Then you just, mm -hmm. but. Yeah, regardless, didn't work out that game. I'm not sure if another stage would have made the difference, so maybe he just wanted more data to see, like, oh, let's minimize variables and see how this set goes. So. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, Westfall's definitely 